Kongs are amazing, wonderful, useful tools that slow your dog down if they eat too fast and keep them entertained. They're wonderful for dogs with anxiety and who need something to do when you're leaving. Today we're going to show you how to stuff Kongs with all different kinds of dog food. The first two kinds of food we're going to use are Sojo's mixed with kibble. Sojo's is a freeze-dried raw and this kibble is origin. It takes a little bit longer to reconstitute because it's so dense. Um, we're going to add some water to it and let it soak in the fridge with the Sojo's for quite some time. Some kibbles aren't as dense or tightly packed and therefore you don't have to soak them as long. Sojo's itself only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to rehydrate, but the kibble took about 45 minutes to fluff up and get soft. What you want is the stickiest mixture possible so that stuffing the Kong is easier and once it freezes, it stays in the Kong longer. Next we have the Honest Kitchen, which is a dehydrated food. It's as close to raw as you can get without feeding raw. It's also human grade ingredients made in a human grade facility, but we don't recommend you eat it. It's not going to taste good. This is the grain free beef recipe, love. It comes in lots of different flavors and mixtures. Um, they all reconstitute differently, so you just have to find out which is best for you and your dog's diet. All you do is add water. The Honest Kitchen takes about three minutes to rehydrate. However, we're going to leave it in the refrigerator for a little longer with the kibble and the sojo so that it becomes quite dense and easier to pack into the Kong. Next, we have wet food. We're going to use Zeewee Peak, which we used in our slow feeder video. Um, all you do is just shove it in there, make a little mound on the top so that there's an instant reward, and you pop it in the freezer. We're going to put it in a mug so that it stands up, and it's just a little easier and neater to handle. You want a sticky pate like Zeewee Peak or Coco Licious. This is the first time we checked on our kibble. It's still pretty solid and not quite soft enough for us to mash like we want to. This is the Honest Kitchen though, and it looks great. It's very sticky and dense. It's gonna be really easy to pack into a Kong. If you wanted, you could even add a little water to it and make it stretch thinner, but don't make it so thin it'll fall through the Kong. I mentioned making that mound before for an instant reward, and the reason you wanna do that while you're building a Kong addict is so the dog doesn't get frustrated. They immediately understand that there's food in here, and this is what it comes out of, and they're not discouraged from digging for the rest. We're a big fan of raw bones and marrow bones here at Prairie Dog, and the Honest Kitchen is great for stuffing those too. If you don't have a Kong, just take a bone that they've cleaned off and pack it full of any of the mixtures we've shown here in this video. Or one of your own. Let us know if we missed something that you like to mix up for your dog. And here we finally have our kibble. It's nice and soft. The water's penetrated it to make it mushy and easily mashable with a spoon or any utensil you feel like. As you can see, this is a little more difficult to work with and stuff into the Kong, but it's not impossible. We're going to put it in a mug like the wet food so it stands up and freezes into the solid mound instead of crumbling away. Last but certainly not least, we have raw. Thaw it the whole way, stuff it in the Kong, and let it freeze like everything else. If you're a raw feeder, actually you should be using something like this because you know your dog just woofs everything down in one bite if they can. This slows them down and makes it last a little bit longer and then they feel a little fuller in the end. Just make sure you treat it like raw meat and handle everything carefully. This is what the wet food Kong looks like, all frozen solid. Uh, it's a little shiny even. We're gonna give it to Piper and Declan. She's ready for it. Poor Declan's just sitting there like, when's it my turn? We hope you found this information useful. If you have a puppy or a new dog to your house and you're trying to get through a transition or adjustment, this is an amazing tool to use. If you have a fast eater or just need something for your dog to do so they'll leave you alone, it's awesome. Kongs are also dishwasher safe, so it's a super easy cleanup. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button down below and give it a thumbs up. Check us out on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and tell us what you thought about this product we featured. See you next time.